Tonight is a special night for Roan State as we get to recognize each of your students for a, such a really great accomplishment. This year's graduating middle, middle college cohort contains 79 students from 16 different high schools, eight different school districts, and three homeschool programs. <clears throat> students, each of you have gone above and beyond the last couple of years to earn your associate's degree at the same time that you get your high school diploma. It is truly a big deal. I don't ever want you to say, oh, I'm just a middle college student. Wear that proudly. You are a middle college graduate from Roan State Community College, and tonight we celebrate you. Before we go any further, there's a few special guests I would like to recognize tonight. Um, so if you would please, if, if any of these people are in the room when we call your name, if you'd please stand up, just let us recognize you and thank you for being here. First off, do we have any state legislators, any of our legislative body here tonight? Okay, what about Run State Foundation members or foundation representatives? Anyone from the foundation here? I know there were a couple of those guys coming. They're outside serving us, actually. They, they provided the refreshments tonight. Um, I, would, I did want to make a word about the Roan State Foundation. This year alone, we have a total of 162 middle college students, and the Roan State Foundation provided 39 of them with scholarships, totaling over $64,000. So let's give them a round of applause. At this time, do we have anyone from, in terms of a high school administrator or district level administration from a school district? Anybody district level? Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Duff, you guys are here. Thank you all for coming. Do we have any faculty or staff from Roan State? Any Roan State faculty or staff here? Well, thank you guys for coming. And any faculty or staff members from our high schools, from our high school partners? Any of you guys here at all? Oh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you all so much. It truly takes all of us to make this program go. And students, we're, we're proud of you. And make sure you thank your, if there's someone from your school or your school district here, please make sure you thank them for coming tonight. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Chris Whaley, the president of Roan State, to come and share a few words. Good evening, everyone. It's an honor to get to be with you. And the first rule is uh, when we do these celebrations, these truly are celebrations. So we expect a little noise. We expect a little hooping and hollering, OK? So this is, you know, this is not to, not to be quiet at. We're, um, I was just thinking back. It, it, the time has flown by. It was, I think, 2011 uh, when Dr. Goff, Dr. Ward, and I visited one of our sister institutions, Chattanooga State Community College, had the first middle college program uh, that I'm aware of in our system. And so we went down there and we thought, man, how cool is this? Was our first thought, and number two was, we can do this. Uh, now, we morphed it a little bit because uh, our model fits, uh, um, our school systems fits Roan State uh, uh, better, with all due respect to, to Chat State, they're running a great program that fits their needs. But to think about that, uh, when we implemented it in 2015, and that first class had how many students? We had 28. See, I, all my information's right behind me. Every good president knows the information's right behind me here. So from that 28, now 162 participating in middle college. And when this year's graduating class crosses the stage and shakes our hands, uh, then we'll be just shy of 400 total middle college graduates since the inception of the program. And I tell you, I am super proud of that because I had almost nothing to do with it other than just to say, hey, this is something we ought to, you know, we ought to, we ought to do. Um, but I thank you, uh, students, for participating. I congratulate you. This is not for everybody. And, um, you know, not only the rigors of the academic work, uh, not only the dedication to put in the time for the studies plus your high school studies plus for many of you the extracurricular activities plus the jobs plus the other uh, things that you have going on in your lives it is truly remarkable what you've accomplished and 
I, I wish there was a stronger word than proud. I just can't think of one to tell you how, how uh, uh, grateful we are and, and how we feel about your success. To think that you will not only complete your college degree uh, a few days before you are high school graduates, but then to think about the progression and the jump start that you will then have on your four-year career, many on your uh, graduate studies, uh, going out into the workforce, whatever the situation is. That's the purpose of middle college, to take students who have the aptitude, the will, the academic uh, uh, achievement to move forward and, uh, and to, to seize that opportunity at an accelerated rate. And so we're, again, we just count ourselves blessed to, to do this. Uh, thank you to the families, parents, uh, grandparents, uh, significant others for allowing your student to participate. We don't take that lightly. Um, to let us have your student for the first half of the day uh, is a big thing uh, that requires a lot of trust and we appreciate and are grateful for that trust uh, and we appreciate you allowing them to participate. We thank our K-12 partners without whom this could not exist. We cannot do this on our own. K-12 partners have to say, yes, we will participate. Yes, we will change our entire schedules around to let these students come to Roan State for the first half of the day. So we know that's a heavy lift for them too. And I have to particularly single out Roan County because they were the very first school system to jump in and say, yes, we're going to do this wild thing called middle college. And they've been participating ever since. So um, also, and I promise to, to close here, but, but there, there are all kinds of thank yous that I need to give. I need to give uh, a thank you to uh, the, 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 the program director here who has just, um, we've always had great leadership in middle college, but I tell you what, his energy and his passion for your success just absolutely astounds me. Uh, it makes me uh, want to work harder myself, uh, and I am so grateful that uh, Aaron Jones uh, now leads middle college for Roan State Community College. A round of applause for Aaron, please. <laughs> And now finally, I want to bring to this, uh, the podium the architect of, uh, of Middle College. Again, we went down there, you know, over uh, 10 years ago now, and, and I didn't know how to start one. I just thought it sounded like a good thing, Ann, you know. <laughs> so uh, my job is to write checks that she has to cash. So um, the jokes don't get any better than that, by the way. You're just going to have to humor me a little bit. But uh, she took an idea and she willed it into existence with a lot of help from a lot of other folks. But now she wrote out the original curriculum. She wrote out the, the program maps and the degree maps for all of those initial students and still is very, very involved in this because I know that her heart beats uh, with every program that we have. But I just have to tell you, Middle College is pretty special to her. Would you welcome our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Diane Ward. I appreciate the president and his kind words. He, you cannot do anything without great leadership, and he is a great leader of Roan State, no question about that. But wow, when I look across this room, I still remember back those first 28 that sat in this theater when we courted the very first group that walked through. Um, we've come a long way, there's no question about that. But one thing I want to say to you, the students, you need to realize the accomplishment that you have made. Um, I know the classes that you've taken. I know the composition papers. I see Maggie Bolden in the room. I know the composition papers, the late nights that you've set up. I know the chemistry tests that you've studied for, the math tests that you've worked on, the history class that you took accelerated, as I see Beth. There are many, many things that you did over the course of these last four semesters I don't want you to take lightly. It was not an easy road for you to get to today. I know it was hard. Uh, those final exams, fortunately or unfortunately, still linger for us in a couple of weeks. I uh, remember back each fall semester as I walk around to the different campuses and I see our middle college students knowing that in many cases they're getting ready to take the first set of comprehensive final exams that they've ever taken. The stress on their faces, but uh, without question, you rose to that challenge. Uh, and the old saying, the squeeze turns, you know, the pressure causes uh, a diamond to be formed. And there's no question in my mind that each of you are diamonds tonight. So please, don't take what you've accomplished lightly. And I always say, enjoy the walk. When you walk across this stage, not everybody has one of those cords. And when you walk across the stage at commencement, 
uh, that Saturday morning along with your other fellow students because you are a Roan State student. You just happen to also be a high school student. You'll be the only one in the crowd that has that gray and red cord around your neck and that designates that you are our middle college students and we couldn't be more proud of you. So congratulations. Enjoy this walk as you receive that special cord. And please enjoy the walk that Saturday morning when you walk across that stage and get your Associate of Science degree or your AAS in mechatronics. So congratulations. At this time, if, if you attended class at our Oak Ridge Branch campus, if you would please make your way down to the stage here, please. First from Oak Ridge High School, Brock Schoenthaler. From Anderson County High School, Ethan Charles. From Clinton High School, Chloe Kaufman. From Oak Ridge High School, Bailey James. From Oak Ridge High School, Gracia Robo. From Anderson County High School, Leah Cobble. From Clinton High School, Jonathan Evans. From Oak Ridge High School, Chloe Lau. From Oak Ridge High School, Connor Melton. Go ahead, Connor. From Anderson County High School, Samuel Howard. From Anderson County High School, Aspen Wilson. From Lenore City High School, Ellie Bowles. From Clinton High School, Dawson Woodard. From Oak Ridge High School, Zachary Snyder. It's a big group. From Oak Ridge High School, Jasmine Rosas. From Clinton High School, Gracie Desjarnet. From Oak Ridge High School, Johnny Clark. From Clinton High School, Christiane Niehaus. From Oak Ridge High School, Madison Galaska. From Anderson County High School, Zachary Lester. From Anderson County High School, Shandy Dice. How are you doing? I'm good. And from Anderson County High School, Ella Brummett. Let's give each of our cohort from Oak Ridge Branch Campus another round of applause, please. As they begin exiting the stage, at this time we're going to group two together because of some of your classwork that's been together. If you attended, um, if you attended classes on our Campbell County campus or our Cumberland County campus, if you would make your way down to the stage, please. Campbell County and Cumberland County. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. 
And as they're making their way down, just a quick reminder for those of you that just got your cords, we are going to take a large group photo outside on the sidewalk um, in between here and the Jaeger building. There'll be people out to direct you. So when we're done tonight, everything, as long as it's not raining, we're going to take a large group photo of all, of all of our middle college graduates on the sidewalk between here and the Jaeger building here in just a little bit. From Cumberland County High School, Daphne Hurley. From the Daniel One Academy, Dominic Olson. From Campbell County High School, Bryson Dotson. From Jellicoe High School, Alexander Baird. And from Stone Memorial High School, Bethany Polson. I'll hang tight for just a second in case your family would like to get a photo. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. You can have to stay safe. <laughs> Next, as they exit the stage, if you attended classes on our Roan County campus here at Harriman, if you would make your way down to the stage, please. Our Roan County Harriman campus. From Roan County High School, Abigail Minot. From Roan County High School, Kara Randolph. From Ray County High School, Elizabeth Johnston. From the Home Life Academy, Brianna Sebastian. From Rome County High School, Emma McDonald. From Ray County High School, Gracie Goodwin. From Roan County High School, Ryan Helms. From Roan County High School, Brady Reynolds. From Wartburg Central High School, Morgan Beard. From Roan County High School, Emma Long. From Roan County High School, Mason Edwards. From Ray County High School, Jaden Lajas. From Ray County High School, Brandon Massingale. From Roan County High School, Tristan Nolf. Your parents have a lot to live up to here now, so. <laughs> From Roan County High School, Macy Owings. <laughs> That's good. That's good work. Yeah. 
And from Rockwood High School, Allison Givens. Let's give our Harriman Campus cohort one more round of applause, please. Next group of students we'll recognize are those students that will graduate with an Associate of Applied Science in Mechatronics. So if you are a Mechatronics student, if you would please make your way down to the stage at this time, please. From Oak Ridge High School, Boru Kneiser. From Lenore City High School, Carson Golden. From Lenore City High School, Stephen Crouch. From Lenore City High School, Ethan Amburn. From Midway High School, Maverick Henderson. From Clinton High School, John Riedlinger. Hang on just a second. <laughs> From Oak Ridge High School, Connor Thornburg. From Oak Ridge High School, Phoenix Wadley. From Oak Ridge High School, Neo Tate. And from Lenore City High School, William Knowles. Smile nice for your families there. Let's give our Mechatronics uh, cohort students one more round of applause, please. And as we wrap up tonight, just a couple of other things. Obviously, we had several students who could not be here tonight with uh, several school districts on spring break. Um, spring sports are in full swing, so we understand that. So we do appreciate those of you who came, and we'll make sure that we get those students their cords between now and graduation. Um, just a word about graduation, parents, because I know sometimes maybe your students don't communicate the best with you, but graduation is Saturday, May the 6th at 10 a.m. for Middle College, amongst other students. So Saturday, May the 6th at 10 a.m. And um, if you have questions or concerns about that, reach out to our office. We'll be happy to help you guys between now and then, okay? So just a few other things, a couple of thank yous I'd like to say. First, I wanna uh, thank you, Ms. Tricia, say thank you to Ms. Tricia McClure, our technical clerk for Middle College and Dual Studies. Many of you have spoken to or worked with her over the last few years, received emails from her, those sorts of things. And so we thank her for her hard work in helping us make tonight successful. Let's give her a round of applause, please. I also want to thank Dr. Cody Miller, who helped us with our courting tonight up here on stage. She's the Interim Dean of Student Academic Services, which Middle College falls under that umbrella. And her support and guidance and advocacy has been very helpful, so thank you, Dr. Miller. And just to echo a couple of things that President Whaley and uh, Dr. Ward have said, I want to thank just a few other groups. First of all, it was our partner schools and school districts. If you work at one of our partner high schools or school districts, thank you guys so much for sharing your students with us at Roan State, um, for sharing your best and brightest young adults. We're so grateful to have the opportunity to work with them. Middle College could not happen 
without our partners at our high schools and school districts around East Tennessee. So thank you guys. We also want to thank our families and parents. As President Whaley said two years ago, I'm guessing that when your child started this journey, you were probably more nervous than they were, if, if you were honest with yourself and, and a little scared about how this thing would go. Thank you so much for trusting us with your student. It, it means a lot to us, and we're grateful to have the opportunity for them. And thank you for supporting your student when one day they came home from school and when they were 14 or 15 and said, hey, this guy from Rome State came, and I think I want to start be a full-time college student when I'm 16. Um, you, you actually listened and, and, and let them do, and so we appreciate that. And finally, I want to thank the students. You guys are why we're here every single day at Roan State. We put our students first, and I thank you guys so much. Um, you all were sent home during your freshman year because of the pandemic. Many of you then worked remotely all through your sophomore year of high school, and then you dove headfirst into full-time college coursework as a junior. What you have done here has been really, really impressive. You are to be commended for your work. Many times, our middle college students are at the top of their classes, and they set the standard for their classmates every day when they're in class, and we're grateful for that. Personally, I want to thank the students for working with me and having patience with me when I came into this role. Uh, for many of you, the first time we met and talked, I promised that you knew more about middle college than I did. So thank you all so much for your patience and helping and being patient with me when I'm like, let me ask. I'll find out and get back to you. So I thank you guys so much for that. Um, Finally, just thank you all for coming tonight. We appreciate you taking some time out of your Friday night to come and spend some time with us. Again, we will take a group picture. Miss Sandy will be outside to tell you guys where to go on the sidewalk if you go out the door to the left. Please make sure you hang around for that. The backdrop is out in the lobby. Use that for photos. Families, hang around if you need to to take pictures. We're, we're glad to have you all tonight. Thank you guys for coming, and we appreciate it. You all have a great evening. Thank you all so much.